Okay, it's been a while since I've done anything. Weekends have been busy, but Iron... Uh, wanted to see something from uh, Rogue System, which I've been playing a lot recently. Uh, tutorials are pretty good, I'm not going to go through those. I've been uh, trying to beat this target ring rescue mission, uh, which is uh, undock, uh, uncooperative dock, and then uh, uh, dock back at the cooperative station. So, uh, just kind of go through it and try to talk and make sense. Unable to seat. Uh, and, uh, battery system. We're going to get a uh, fault soon. So master alarm off. Uh, I'm going to tie it to the system. Uh, turn on exterior power since we're umbilical to a station right now and allow that to charge. Uh, Turn on the display, and uh, the overhead aft tow camera is the one that uh, show the station behind us. It's docked to our aft collar, which I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, and set, because on the way out it'll be useful to have that display. Uh, a couple other useful views right now. Uh, I'm eventually going to switch back to Ford, but uh, the I actually don't know where the RMS is looking. Not looking anywhere useful. I don't think there are any RMS controls yet. Uh, this is uh, looking down from top forward, I think. This is looking up from uh, from the bottom of the ship, uh, back to where the station will do exterior view real fast. Uh, that is me. That's what we're in orbit around. A little bit annoying. I think uh, the, the way that this system is set up, uh, there's these terrestrial planets that are moons of... Uh, these, or wait, no, well, whatever the fuck that is, I think is a moon of the terrestrial planet down there. Uh, I guess at least that star is in about the right place. Uh, anywho, uh, continue powering on everything. Uh, this is the uh, reactant controls, uh, so basically four prop tanks. And uh, all I gotta do is pressurize them from, uh, or pressurize bladders from them. Uh, the pressure comes up and kind of check all of them. Not that big a deal. Uh, the thermal management system. Uh, so, now that we've got these back up to pressure, uh, go ahead and pressurize loop one. And once it reads pressure, then turn on the pump. I'll turn on the exterior laser coolers and then bring the pump up to normal speed. And the same on loop two. It has its own display. Pump up the speed. And these are neat. Uh, the buttons are both indicators and they're stateful, so they'll move based on the selections for certain things, like the, the battery controls uh, work for both batteries. And I'm about to turn that system on anyway, but uh, COM up here, and as soon as COM actually comes on, uh, I'm going to go ahead and check in with space traffic control which is on a, uh, a broadcast frequency, which is this open channel up here. Uh, I'm also going to turn on some of the lights, go through the startup sequence and turn on the cabin uh, AC unit, uh, and continue talking to these guys until they give me a departure clearance and then also clearance to turn on the, uh, the low energy nuclear reactor, which is our main power source. And tie bat two on. Bat two won't tie to uh to exterior power, but it's what powers the uh Okay, so we're gonna allow this to 
have its reactant and then turn on the heater. It's got to preheat for a little while. I'm also going to turn on my navigation system, which is primarily for attitude control, uh, other stuff, uh, maneuvering thruster system, which is going to be what we use for most of this mission. About everything, I'll go ahead and validate prop and then leave that where it is because uh, we don't need anything other than cold gas for parting. And if there's anything I'm not. Now, yeah, um, these fuel cells are emergency power sources, but it's good to have them warmed up first. Uh, we're not going to tie into a bus uh, because that depletes the fuel. And you can see that the fuel cell core heats low. Uh, we don't have voltage on the main bus or the utility bus. Uh, the uh, electromagnetic field level lows is low on the main th uh, maneuvering thruster system. Uh, and the low energy nuclear reactor core temp is uh, is low as well as the output. Uh, inertia tank level is just always low right now. Uh, I don't know why that doesn't get replenished, but that's for the, uh, the atmosphere mix. I know it's not going to be a problem. Don't really care about our orbital data right now, but that will come into play. This should almost be up to temperature. Yeah, about 50 degrees to go. No idea why these are all in like relative Fahrenheit temperatures, um, because they seem to be above some grade, uh, uh, whatever. This is almost temperature. All right, and that's fusing now. I'm on bat two, so I'm going to allow that to start charging. And you see it's uh, it started charging from alt half. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's still going down. Oh, wait, I've got to tie a main power. There we go. Hard to talk and launch a spacecraft, for me at least. Uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, we're ready to go. Uh, so I'll say that. Whoops, got to turn off external power. They would have told me to do that because they can tell. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and switch displays to the uh, aft toe. Actually, no, not the aft toe yet. Uh, overhead aft. Make it a little bit clearer what's going on. Probably should have actually already checked out my controls, but I haven't. Uh, I'm using the Xbox 360 controller still. Uh, because that's what I always do. Uh, left stick is pitch and roll. Uh, I've got yaw on the triggers. Oh, I should have already tuned departure. Pay attention. Uh, and translation on the right stick. Uh, forward and backward and then uh, side to side. And so I've got one axis that I don't have right now. Um, which sucks a little bit. Set this as my localizer. Uh, and turn on dock just to have a... Uh, we're going to go to the actual port display. And you see our range is increasing. Uh, Z velocity is, is the axis out through there. I wouldn't use Z for that. Um, but whatever. Um, as we kicked off, our yaw went a little blah, but our roll is perfect. And, uh, most of this is just in case you got to go back real fast. Our X is minus side, Y is still perfect. I'm going to go ahead and thrust forward. Uh, remember, look, we're looking aft right now. We're going to spend a lot of time looking aft because that's where the main docking port is on this. The other one's on the port side, uh, but it's even more confusing uh, than using just reverse controls. Uh, I'm getting any thrust out of that. Oh shit, I'm not controlling anything. Uh, let me check some stuff real fast. I think I've got all this set up. Oh uh, no, did it forget my controls? It did, I'm just gonna be fucking pissed. Yep. Yep, that's what it did.
50, and I don't like these dead bands, so I'm going to extend them a little bit. Uh, the 360 control sticks are just sloppy in the center. That's going to be good enough. Forgotten to do that many times. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so X velocity, or Z velocity rather, is climbing now. It's so basically my R dot. I'm going to get it one meter a second and, uh, and get us away from the station. Uh, and they're going to clear us to navigate before too long. Uh, and then at that point, I'm going to turn on the uh, maneuvering thruster system. Is, is totally legit. EMF fucking masterpiece. Uh, we're not going to use the actual main engines, which are mainly for navigating between objects. Our destination is a ring satellite. It's gone out of control, uh, which is why it's a non-cooperative dock. Uh, this is a steer two indicator. It's really only valid for forward views. A little bit annoying that they display it in all views, but switch to forward now. Um, as soon as we're about 100 meters away, I'm going to hit and turn. Uh, we're actually going to be pointed pretty close to uh, to down. Oh. See it? Uh, I think that's the target. No, wait, that's an orbital. I think that's prograde orbital. Um, relative motion cue. This green. Uh, which is only available once you have something locked. That made the docking tutorial much easier. Yes, I am getting above that right now. Right, right. No, no, that's just, that's the direct, okay, yeah. So if I'm looking up, then that's backwards. Anyway, uh, we're beyond 100 meters, so I'm going to go ahead and roll and yaw. Uh, that tone changing is, uh, is part of the docking system. It's an audible cue to, of alignment, alignment quality. Uh, basically, once the tritone harmonizes, you're, uh, you're well aligned. Um, I mostly find it annoying, honestly, but I could, I could see situations where maybe it'd be be nice to have. Uh, this steering indicator is going to disappear a little bit early, uh, in my opinion. That means that it's come into the main view screen. Uh, I'll try to rest this yaw. Might overshoot just a little bit. Uh, or more than just a little bit. God damn it. Um, let me turn the prop injectors on and get just a little bit heavier old gas. Uh, I haven't been cleared yet to turn on the maneuvering thrust systems. Um, basically take the same nozzles and instead of just exhausting cold gas, we're going to exhaust hot gas. Yeah, right, so we're beyond limiter range, free to navigate. Uh, oh right, I also don't have the uh, Holds engaged right now. That'll help some. I'm just building up larger rates than I thought I was because I didn't have those on. So uh, I'm gonna conductor on. That'll build up this electromagnetic field or shield rather. Uh, I guess both builds up pretty fast. see uh, this is 400 something kilometers away and it's receding at about 270 meters a second right now uh, so we need some power uh, helicon on and ignite burning and core heating on and uh, let's get boost loud and here's the main engine that's our acceleration vector it actually uh, accounts for acceleration vector. It accounts for gravity. Uh, you can see we pulled away really fast from the station. Uh, we're now closing with our contact. I'm going to take us up to about a kilometer a second. Uh, 
path so that this ride isn't uh, absolutely eternal. I'm also going to put us in navigation mode, uh, which will show some of the cues of the orbit that we end up in. We're already, uh, our periapsis is so low that we have an impact warning now. That's why we're chasing down this satellite. It's out of control. It's going to re-enter. I'm going to go ahead and turn off our docking floodlight. acceleration vector a little bit to try to draw the relative motion a bit further toward. And I'm still going to shut off at, at one kilometer. I accidentally cooked the maneuvering thruster system the other day by leaving the throttles open, but uh, disabled the boost. Alright, there we go. Gonna haul over hard on the uh, reverse. Still not completely. I keep on like wing commandering this. At one point, I had the uh, the yaw set to the stick and roll on the triggers, uh, and then I noticed that yaw is slave to the pedals in the game, and I couldn't couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand not being right. So, I had to do that. I had to put it on the triggers. Uh, down translation. The dead zones are still a little... Still a little small. Uh, okay. That green tunnel is, uh, is our trajectory uh, as we head for Apple Apps, which is in six minutes. So we'll actually be getting pretty close to this object uh, prior to Apple Apps, which kind of surprises me. Because uh, I thought I was going a fuckload slower than that. We don't really have an orbital period, we just have uh, an impact. Though I don't know if that's what that time displays. It's pretty close to what I'd estimate it being. Yeah, kinda. And that's the the anti-path vector essentially is that the blue falling backward. I think that's kind of a nice display. Uh, port docking, overhead port dock, or or nothing special, uh, as you might imagine. I wish I, I'm pretty sure the get out of the seat bind doesn't work. Uh, if it did, I would do a quick tour of the cockpit because it's a neat. Uh, Neat little spaceship. There's a ladder directly behind me. Actually, if I unlock the seat, uh, at least look at it. Uh, but that actually does go into a space below uh, that has some cargo you can actually screw around with. Uh, I think that's a nice touch, and uh, th I think that's uh, also where EVAs are going to occur eventually. So. I'm going to relock this. Back to the business of flying. About 100 kilometers out, I'm going to, uh, to slow down a little bit uh, because it is it's easy to overshoot, and uh, overshooting not only wastes fuel but it's just a little bit embarrassing. I'm gonna go ahead and reverse. Uh, there are reversers slash thrust deflectors or, uh, here on the panel. Um, but we're going to do almost everything with the aft collar anyway, so uh, at this point we're, uh, we're not switching back to forward until we're headed back away from this object. Um, the, the only unfortunate thing about that is now all the controls, or most of the controls are reversed. Yaw is the same, uh, just like in a mirror, left and right aren't reversed. Uh, up and down aren't reversed, uh, but pitch is reversed, roll is reversed, uh, and uh, translation left and right are also reversed. Um. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Uh, especially once once you see what this non-cooperative target is doing. Um, 
and I'll have plenty of time to screw around with it, uh, especially since we're not even at Apple Apps yet. Uh, I am... The way that I've lost all these times has been bumping it. Uh, and once you bump it, it's in a fairly stable one-axis spin right now, uh, which I guess spoilers. Uh, if you bump it, it goes completely bug nuts. Uh, and I've tried uh, mushing up next to it a couple times, and I've actually managed to put it into something that looked at a lot like a one-axis spin again. But uh, I open up the throttles. Uh, I actually have that on the wrong side right now. Relative motion vector also moves around a little bit uh, based on how you look at it. I don't know why. I don't like that. Um, I find that really confusing. Uh, uh, it's based on the pitch of the craft. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it might have something to do with where it's supposed to be projected, even though the, like, th this is actually kind of neat. It's, it's a fixed display. It's not a window. Um, you know, and, and that's clear when you zoom in on it, too. Everything goes all pixely, so, so good job with that. Like, that's fucking clever. Um, oops. Slow down way too much. Uh, again, not really paying attention. I kind of wanted to be going about 500 meters a second. Uh, I'll go ahead and reverse thrust instead of spinning around and boost back up. At least it didn't actually stop. I think gives you an idea of, uh, of how quickly I could have stopped. It took me 35 kilometers. Well, I guess maybe I should remember that. I'll go up to, uh, yeah, 500 is probably still fine. Around, uh, around 20 I'll reduce. Is. And the briefing tells you a little bit about uh, what frequencies this is using. I'll try uh, 200 first. It's got 200 and 201, uh, which I could set both in there. I'm not going to. I, as soon as you set one of these frequencies in there, it shows up. You don't have to set it as localizer. Localizer. Uh, selects it for docking, I think, and uh, I don't know. I I don't really need both symbols up on there. I might switch if I uh, if I end up on the wrong side. I don't feel like waiting for one docking port to come back. Down a little bit. I pitch not because of uh, cross control, but because. I move the stick a little bit. We're now falling, looks like. Uh, yeah, so time to periapsis is 40 minutes. Got, you gotta not be at periapsis because periapsis is impact. That would be bad. Okay, it's time to slow down again. <laughs> Definitely time to slow down because. Oh shit, I'm gonna overshoot. I was talking too much. Oh god! Yeah, it's gonna take me like 14 kilometers to stop. So at least I'm not pointed directly at it. But as I shoot past, um, it should at least be apparent what this thing is doing. Well, actually, maybe this will work. Maybe. I'm gonna want. Gonna want to get slow. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, we're getting at like 20. Good enough. All right. Then I'll turn my lights back on. We're a little bit more than a kilometer out. We're approaching at 20 meters a second. A little bit more than a minute to rendezvous. 
I'll actually bump backwards, just toward the thing, uh, and get us going a little bit cl uh, faster. Uh, at this point, I'm also going to secure from boost allowed. Uh, and just, uh, we'll still be boosting RCS, uh, so I can kind of get us into uh, a favorable location that'll probably secure to cold gas only. Okay, 500 meters. Uh, where are these things spinning? I'm gonna slow down the closure rate a little bit. Go ahead and turn on the uh, docking display. Down. Okay. The next question is which direction is properly aligned? Okay, looks like that direction. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Final docking closure rates are super, super slow. Uh, they're like uh, two centimeters a second. Okay, I'm gonna pop off pitch hold and try to establish uh, something that more or less. Okay, I, of course, I immediately get confused. Uh, I wanna switch to cold gas. I got a thrust in. I'm going to rest my X velocity a little bit. Thrust up, thrust up, keep thrusting in. Keep thrusting in. Control reversal. up, rest in. Rest up. That's actually worse. Uh, my X alignment's shitty, that's why I'm getting confused. I want to thrust down, keep thrusting in. Thrusting in. This is actually way better than this has ever gone. Uh, Thrusting in. Again. 
coming in. Wow. This is working. Put up. Shit. I might have bumped it. understand why I'm not capturing it, actually. I, I swear that I've reached zero if, uh, and been aligned well enough. Uh, oh god, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. not to do is is bonk that uh rotating down I think we I think that was established before give me give me give me going that way I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and go into a slightly more sensitive mode too and see if I can I just disabled the prop injector, so now it's it's basically just the pressure in the tanks instead of the uh, uh, whatever the hell else being used to uh, presumably injectors. Uh, so I don't know some mechanical system, some electromechanical system that's uh, it's adding a little bit more exhaust velocity to give those more punch. Uh, so up.
accidentally sucking. I wish the docking light wasn't so fucking terrible. I mean, I, I'm less than a meter from the thing. If the docking light was in the right fucking place, then I would be, I would be seeing this shit, you know? But it's not. Normally that would be okay. Normally that would have been really bad. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh God, 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 God. Get my Y velocity back down. Fuck everything. Yeah, mostly unfuck everything. Uh, let me turn on the prop vectors again. Mostly fucked. Try to do better than that. Okay. 
Stop yawing. Stop yawing. Please stop yawing. Aligned. Okay, okay, so I've got 40 minutes to periapsis. I've got plenty of time. Um, okay, wow. I never, I thought I would never, ever, ever be able to do that. Um, okay, so the next thing that I want to do, I think, is, uh, honest to God, uh, I am going to turn on RCS pitch hold and uh, and try to burn out these rates. Uh, it doesn't look like it's actually commanding any RCS. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's commanding any RCS. Uh, I wonder if I could get uh, any attitude align on. Or I wonder if because I'm docked, it's secured the, uh, I guess I can find out. Um, yeah, I'm hammering on the stick right now, and it's not using the MTS. Uh, okay. If I go to cold, okay, yeah, if I go to cold gas, it tries. Uh, I uh, set that to prograde is what I want. Uh, and prograde should be over there. That should be orbital prograde. I'm going to set back to a navigation mode. Yeah. Um, I'm going to 
try. Okay, I'm going to turn off attitude line again. Uh, so what we're supposed to do is put this thing into uh, a higher orbit, something with a periapse above 100 kilometers. And so I'm just going to try. I think it's. Uh, I think it's still spinning. Uh, I don't really want it to still be spinning. Uh, we are burning up, though. Let's see here. Uh, I'm not getting yaw. It's still raising it. I wonder. I'm gonna go ahead and turn another way. Should actually probably still be thrusting forward because this is this is close enough. Uh, and you can see my acceleration vector is still gravity dominated. Like these cold gas thrusters aren't doing that much. Uh, But it's also, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Um, I can yaw, so I'm gonna try slide a little bit. Uh, a lot of fuel. Yeah, I'm a little bit curious about um, if I'm gonna have. I might have to limp back. I don't know. I, I I've never gotten to this point in the mission before, so this is new to me. Uh, well, I briefly got very disoriented there. Uh, might uh, I don't know how much. Feels like it's loading up. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna turn off autopilot really fast. Seems bad. Lost control for a reason, I guess. Forward. While well, we're still vaguely pointed that way. Okay. I can try to get it back. Back. I don't want to have any yaw authority. Commanding any RCS output? Yeah. It's just not doing anything. It doesn't seem like it is. Well, about to be point of prograde again. Well, maybe I, maybe I can rest this motion. Stop spinning, stop spinning. Something on the ring itself might be loading it up. Um, I'm gonna try to hold again. I like that's not helping, actually. A 
okay, okay. switch over to back to our uh, origin station as target. Uh, lost it. Okay. I don't know what's up with that display. Objective is a hundred kilometer periapsis. Am I doing on gas? Kind of scary. But uh, I've got enough. Just might not want to go quite as ham as I have before. I also don't want to give this any excess periapsis. And I hope that this video is not going to be super fucking boring. I'm going to edit it a little bit, but a ton. Close there. They probably should be shooting more directly pro grade. Or I could have waited for uh, for apoapsis if I was really worse. Depends on how bad uh, atmospheric drag is at 100 kilometers. Bam! All right, that's fucking good enough, I think. Uh, EAD port. Uh, actually, no. Uh, go to overhead uh, dock again. Overhead tow. And then I'm gonna release. Get the fuck away. Goodbye, satellite. Okay, uh sensors, so apparently that's more or less within in view. Or I lost Okay. display is not the most useful thing. I think that indication is it's below and to the right. What happened to my plasma temperature? Oh, oh! It disabled itself when I docked. Okay. Um. That's part of why that was so freaky. Whoops. I didn't just fuck that completely by going to emergency power. Um. I think that's okay. Oh, God. Okay, uh... God. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's the target. Okay. Gotta get back over there.
closer to it. Closer is good. Uh, ooh. And fast. Oh shit. I'm not seeing. Well, no, the relative velocity mark might not be showing up just because uh, I don't have a closure rate right now. Anything? Yeah, RC1 tank's low. R RC tank 1. Um, actually, don't know. I. I I don't know what's in the tanks. I know that they're different. Um, I know that, uh, like, it, that tells you that it's using tank one. Um, there's something else that uses the other tanks. Uh, fuel cells. Uh, I forget. Now I've got sun shining directly into my eyes through my window. Um, but yeah, I think I think if I run that tank out, then I'm gonna have problems uh, related to not being able to navigate in space. I don't want to do. I'm gonna be careful. So much as I can. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and phone up. Space traffic control. I think you're allowed to announce within a thousand kilometers. May have to. Good. What I don't like is that even though I'm still closing, the uh, the gravity vector right now is, uh, is directly anti-aligned with where I'm going. There's definitely a uh, a slide to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and try to cancel that out. I think I just sent on approach, didn't I? Five one two. Back in on the approach. <sighs> I'm decluttered. Nope. checked in. Uh, I think you're supposed to wait until like within 100 kilometers to request docking, so I'll just wait a little bit. So I wish I'd get uh, relative velocity symbology back because uh, this can get really confusing. what my closest approach is going to be. Well, anyway. Really pretty glad that this, uh, this video... I hadn't tried to record a video of Rogue System before. Uh, and I have never done this well on this mission before, so hopefully I actually managed to get back. I happen to know what the localizers are for that station, too. Uh, so... 
I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pick a mob out here, and maybe that'll give me range and closure information. Though it doesn't give it, you know, like a concise way. Okay. That's not good. Well, my Y is getting worse. I am still closing. Well, but yeah, the Y's, those axes aren't, you have to be aligned for those axes to actually make sense, so. Uh. Really just time acceleration, maybe I'll turn that on. Yes. So, you know, I'll usually go in that way. Which, oops. I don't know how hard it's going to be to, uh, to arrest that motion. Wait, is that... That's getting bigger. Shit! <laughs> okay. Try again. If I don't manage it again, then I'm gonna have to try to remember how to use the uh, the main engines and the uh, the orbital stuff. I think we're here. So I'd have to. Shit, that's sliding. Well. Shit. Turn myself up to an impact point.
I'm attempt to lock it again. Okay. Yeah. That's way better. Um. I don't know. Hold on. Tell you what, uh, put it on port docking, and I'm gonna okay. Okay, I just heard a knock at my door. That's unusual. Service and construction. Okay, let's see if I can uh, not burn below ten percent doing this. Hey, this is actually almost kind of working. side. Hey, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. Uh, I am very low on fuel. Um, so I can I can't fuck these burns up the way I did the other ones. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know how much fuel I need to use to, uh, to burn out. Uh, I think around 100... Fifty. I'm gonna start slowing down because the w when you're actually heading to a controlled station, they like you to have uh, a more controlled velocity. Um, I'm actually not sure of either. Is here. I think they use a different propellant. They have a hell of a lot more burn. Um, and they're used for orbital changes, but I feel like I should 
learn to use them for uh, you know, hauling ass around. I, th I think this is actually going to turn out fine. I'm a little bit surprised by that, but it's going to be close. I'm going to slow down some more. I just really hope that I don't run out of reactant. that my closure it's not changing a lot because I'm headed for apoapsis right now but uh oh right it's in front of me and I'm currently looking at the back of the ship uh Gonna secure from boost. <laughs> I still think we have enough prop, but only barely. Really, only barely. Turn the lights on too. So that last burn picked up my periapsis. Because it was almost entirely prograde. Pretty soon they're going to start asking me to shut down. Uh, Things like the maneuvering thruster system, which I think is a, a don't plume us, bro. Where well, my mission clock is on this? This is this has been a longer mission than I thought. I thought I was just gonna fucking fail it. I thought it was gonna be a short video. actually don't know where I need to be relative to the station right now. It'd be nice to see a core or something. I think that uh, green crosshair is actually an alignment guide for that kind of thing, but I don't know how to read it yet, so... The 
with it, you know, when you're in close. It actually marks off quadrants pretty well for where the relative velocity needs to end up to positive or negative. Correcting out um, errors a little bit easier. But honestly, I can think of better Hudson balls. I've been thinking about this a little bit uh, for filming, as it were, uh, and this whole thing where you spend a lot of time flying this craft, uh, looking at the backside, because the backside's the primary docking port. Um, and so uh, you end up with reverse controls. That's not the way it was on the space shuttle. Uh, uh, I know from all the space shuttle simulators that have flown that have incorporated docking or, or relative maneuvering, there are, there are different senses for the flight controls, and I don't know if that was based on which station you were at, uh, because the, the aft station would be looking up out of the flight deck through the zenith of the vehicle, uh, and the front station would be looking forward. Uh, you can start to see the station now. Uh, you could change the sense to make it make sense for what you were doing at the time. I think is the right way to do it instead of, you know, you, you just kind of have to remember, oh yeah, I'm looking at the aft towing view, so uh, pitch is reversed, roll is reversed, and left and right translation are reversed. And you just kind of have to fly that out. That's fucking ridiculous. And, and that's honestly a good way to get motion sick, I think. Be a little bit more worried about that in VR. But it's, it is enough to get a rise out of me. Just from, especially when you're trying to do fine control and you're like, uh, okay, let's try to do that. And then it doesn't quite work. I'm going to slow off. Uh, okay, and they want me to slow down, so. Burn out. A little bit. Oops. Inside, uh... Yep. <laughs> yep, gotta run pretty close on gas. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it looks like... It looks like I'm gonna have to do like a 90 degree pitch. I don't know about roll alignment. Um... I'm going to try to set myself up a little bit better while I'm out here. Within one kilometer, I think they're going to ask me to shut down. I'm not going to cease closure, but cutting off the helicon. We'll leave the prop injector on. Fortunately, there's a lot of shit on the display now. Uh oh. too long. I'm gonna overshoot. I'm gonna waste prop. It's really bad. No.
meurs. gonna be kind of happy to show off uh, to show off the docking on the other thing but uh, oh well be gone now uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and put it up uh, thanks for asking me to do it iron because now I've I, I at least you know even though I fucked up at the end I, I have a, a document of, of doing that first docking several times before I figured out that I needed to activate my emergency clamp <laughs>